Former Foreign Affairs Minister Rudy Insanali says not much has been achieved in addressing many of the concerns and challenges in today's world. He made those remarks at the Pegasus Hotel on Friday where he launched his book called Multilateral Diplomacy for Small States, The Art of Letting Others Have Your Way. The book reflects many of Ambassador Insanali's experiences as a diplomat. He said the world still awaits the results of all the conferences and meetings across the globe. Reform and revitalization are the order of the day. Sadly, however, we have spent more than a decade in debate with precious little to show by way of results. In Sonali, whose diplomatic experience spans about four decades, said that small states can have a voice in shaping the way international relations work. Ideas and initiatives, in my view, are not the preserve only of the powerful countries. The example of the law of the sea, the brainchild of tiny Malta, and then you have the International Criminal Court, which was put forward by Trinidad and Tobago, and which was laughed at initially, but today stands in place. Our low carbon development strat strategy, which is now being held up as an example of what not only small countries can do, but the larger countries in terms of preserving our common habitat, the planet Earth. The importance of multilateral diplomacy was then put into perspective by Insanali. While all states have an interest in preserving multilateralism, it is the small and vulnerable state which have the most to gain from it. Multilateral diplomacy is therefore the weapon of choice against the threat of unilateralism, which is, or can be, the primary source of oppression, social inequity, and injustice in the world. The book launch was attended by members of government, the diplomatic corps, and former colleagues of Insanali, relatives and friends. And the woman who succeeded in Sonali as Foreign Affairs Minister, Carlin Rodriguez Burkett, said that the publication really captures the finer points of diplomacy and will be a valued addition to the library of the ministry. Ambassador, as you launch this book today, from which we all will benefit, I want to assure you that our advocacy will continue. It is not a battle that we can give up though the odds remain heavily stacked against us. And once again, I want to thank you for sharing with us your experiences and indeed your thoughts for a better world. The book will be available at Austin's bookstore and part of the proceeds from the sales will go towards the funding of prizes for young diplomats. For Capital News, Royal Collins.